I tried print on demand for 30 days and this is what happened. Like last time, the rules were simple. Number one, I had to make as many designs as I can. Number two, I had to spend as little money as possible. Number three, I had to be efficient. But I have to admit something. I also did this back in 2020, so this isn't my first time doing this. But this time, I wanted to do something different. Instead of selling mugs, I wanted to sell t-shirts. Instead of making low tier designs, I wanted quality. Instead of taking forever to upload, I wanted efficiency. But before anything, I needed to choose my platform, Etsy. And I used it before, so there's no point in opening up another store. And if you're wondering what my store name is, then keep watching. So now that we have our storefront with Etsy, we're still missing one thing, our printing partner. And there's a bunch to choose from, from Printful, Printify, Awkward Styles, and SwiftPod. And the only problem is efficiency. Back in 2020, I chose Printful, and every time I wanted to go ahead and upload a design, I had to do it one by one, and it took forever to upload. There had to be another way. And after doing some research on Ryan Hoag's channel, I discovered my designs. It's an all-in-one platform that lets you add your designs in bulk, add mockups easily, and add size charts. So it's everything that I'm looking for. And best of all, it's free. So now that that's all set, I had to focus on one more thing, my designs. And no, not the website, but my t-shirt designs. And of course, I had to use Canva since I already have Canva Pro. So I'm adding that to the cost, which is $10. But before I start making a bunch of designs, I needed to have a plan. So since Halloween was close by, I decided my initial designs should be on that. So I went on Etsy, looked up Halloween t-shirt designs, took inspiration and made my own. Day one, I made 12 high quality t-shirt designs, or so I thought. After taking a closer look, they really didn't look all that appealing, but they got better. Day two, I made 12 designs, and this time I'm pretty proud of how they turned out. And one tip I got from Ryan Hoke's channel was to focus on what works, which in this case was circle designs, so I did just that. Day three, I made 13 designs. And I know this is getting repetitive, but just wait because things are about to change. And I was so proud about these designs that I showed my little brother and he ended up wanting a t-shirt, specifically this one, and I think we know why. I even experimented with a fall theme and threw out random designs like this cool gamer pumpkin. I thought this would appeal to the young crowd, but I was wrong because I ended up selling zero. So I had to do something differently. Day four. I made 11 designs. And remember when I said I needed to do something differently? Well, I doubled down and ended up making even more Halloween designs. And the reason being is because Halloween was literally just six weeks away. So I figured I might as well go all in. And it was only a matter of time before the sales and the money started rolling in. Day five, I made 10 designs. And this time I actually did something differently coffee now i know what you're thinking well actually i don't but what i do know is that coffee sells because people love coffee so i figured this is what's going to take my store to the next level i mean look at these designs who wouldn't want to buy these especially this one and you want to know what happened nothing yet day six i made 10 designs about breast cancer awareness month and the only reason i got this idea was because i was going for a run and i saw a breast cancer awareness sign so i figured why not? And by now, I think it's safe to say that my designs are getting better and better. I'm paying more attention to the font I use, to the size, and I'm getting really proud about these designs. I even made this Halloween-inspired design, which I thought was pretty cute. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Day 8 to 13. I made 42 designs. And by now, I had a pretty efficient process on actually making them. And this time, I did experiment with a bunch of other designs. I tried Christmas designs, Red Ribbon Week designs, Hispanic Heritage Month designs. And I know I said this before, but I'm actually really proud about how these designs came out. And I know I'm getting a lot better and better each day. In my opinion, these look a lot cleaner. And this is definitely something that I would give as, as a gift to somebody. And you're probably wondering, it's been two weeks, so how many sales did I make? Well, up until now, zero but i still had two more weeks left this is also when i stopped uploading designs but things are about to change expenses in those two weeks i end up making 110 designs and since etsy charges 20 cents per listing i end up spending 22 dollars and since i use canva pro that's another $10 that I spent. So in total for that month, I spent $32. But what about the sales? On October 3rd, I made my first sale. $22.99. Yes. And surprisingly, it was from one of my Red Ribbon Week t-shirts. And that's it. I even gave it more time to see if Halloween t-shirts would sell. Then a week passed, then two, and then three, but still nothing. So all in all, that one sale netted me $12.67 profit for a t-shirt, which honestly, isn't bad profit margin. But after taking the initial expenses into account of $32, I lost $19.33, which puts me at a negative 60.4% ROI. What could have I done differently? I think I could have uploaded more designs. I was pretty consistent at first, but then I switched focus and I stopped creating. I could have done promotion, and I'm not talking about paid advertising, but instead free organic methods like TikTok or YouTube shorts. I also could have reached out to influencers, and I was actually thinking of doing this early on, 
but the point of it was to spend as little as possible, so I didn't want to sink in some initial cost to that. But I might try that later. I could have added more items. I think the reason I sold a lot more in 2020 was because I sold mugs instead of t-shirts. Maybe if I transferred these designs to a mug, I could have had different results. Either way, it was fun trying this out for the month because I definitely got better at designs. At least that's what I tell myself. And I also want to check to see if any of these designs sell later on. So I'll go ahead and make a follow-up video in a few months. And if you like this video, be sure to check out this next one.